channel where we watch and learn from some of our favorite singers. My name is Liza Quinn. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are talking about something a little bit different than usual. A friend and colleague of mine sent me a clip. It is courtesy of Brunello Creatini, who posted this to his YouTube channel, and then this clip was reposted by someone else on IG. I dug a little deeper and got to learn more about Magda and her incredible career, and I just felt like it was something that I needed to share on this channel for those of you who didn't know about her. Magda Olivero was an Italian operatic soprano who made her debut in 1932. She was renowned for her emotion, her passion, her intensity, obviously her skill. But what was most remarkable about her was the longevity of her career. So in 1941, she actually retired from the stage, but then returned again in 1975. And she passed at 104 years old in 2014. So the video clip we are going to watch is when she was 96 years old. She's a true testament to age being nothing but a number and having something that you're passionate about. And she often spoke about how music was one of the things that gave her such longevity. And the fact that she studied and practiced and kept her instrument in fantastic condition is what's so remarkable. And it shows us that if you constantly use it and use it in a healthy way, you can use it for a very, very long time. So what are some of the things that happen to us as we age, that happen to our voices? One of the most noticeable changes would be a drop in pitch. This is due to changes in the larynx, the voice box, and the vocal cords, which can become less elastic over time, which can lead to the second thing, which is a reduction in vocal range. There can be changes in tone. The voice might become a little huskier, a little raspier, a little breathier than before. This can also lead to a decrease in vocal strength, seeing as how the muscles we use to speak or sing can weaken with age. Vocal fatigue is something that we can experience much quicker because of all of the things we just mentioned. Volume control would be something we'd find it harder and harder to master as breath control becomes a little bit more complicated and just control of the body in general. So of course, smoking, excessive alcohol, vocal abuse, all these things can exacerbate the situation as we age. So we wanna make sure we stay hydrated, avoid vocal strain, and use it so you don't lose it. So let's watch and break down this video of Magda performing at 96 so we could once again learn from our faves. Beautiful control and dynamic so far. There it is again. So the timbre is very pristine. It's very, very clean and clear, especially when she comes in right on this note right here. Beautiful. With a little subtle crescendo right there and decrescendo, she just, woof, is still just gliding through that so beautifully.
The power there is absolutely stunning and I appreciate so much that you could see the energy running through her entire body. There's this constant flow of energy and this constant engagement, this constant grounding. And that's what's so beautiful is that power is not necessarily about push or volume, that vibration, that frequency ring. And she still has got it. That little fall. beautiful. That phrase was all on one breath right there. So that says something about the breath control that she still has. Not to mention when you pull back and you have those little that are held back and controlled, those are actually oftentimes more difficult. This is absolutely stunning. Passion. I need to watch that note one more time. The adjustment of the vowel, the face. Ah, again, that full engagement opens up. Oh. This moment right here is so important. We need to rewatch this. The breath, the breath that she takes right there through the nose. The preparation for that. You know, there's always something I talk about which is the anticipation of the next part that's coming. It's almost as if you're just hearing nothing but pure emotion and cry as she releases there. She sings a second song and I highly encourage you go to it. I'm gonna link the original video in the description below. I wish you all many, many, lovely, healthy years singing and or enjoying music, whatever it is. But I wish you many, many years of that. Thank you. I'll see you on the next one.